Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will show you guys that how you can reshape uh, data in Power BI. So actually there are two, usually we uh, say that data is in the wide form or in the, in the long form. So what does it mean by wide form or a long form? So suppose if you have this data, so I have this data which is I am saying it's in the wide form. So what does it mean that the data is in the wide form? That we have uh, some, suppose we were doing, uh, we conducted a survey and we asked three respondents. Uh, and these are the names of those respondents and we have the gender of these respondents. But we follow up these respondents and we ask what is their income for three years in 1980, 1981 and in 1982. And these are the incomes that we have. So for each respondent, we have three years of his income. So the point here is to note that we have year, the information of income we have in the year, year wise. So, so this, the way, if you capture the data this way, it usually called as the wide form of data. But the same data, exactly the same data can also be captured in this way, which will be called as lying in long data format in which for each ID, for each respondent name, we have three years of uh, rows and it goes as the ID, as the name, you can call it name, as the name of the respondent is the same, so the gender is also the same and we have uh, income varies because each row is uh, is representing e one year for the same respondent for for so for so for john we have uh, 5000 income in 1980 then we have 4000 income for the john in 1981 so you can see, see that the same information that we have represented in this uh, structure we can also represent the same information in the long data format too the important thing to note here is that uh, when you will be building uh, graphs in Power BI or tabulations in Power BI, sometimes you will require that your data will be in some sort of format. Maybe the function that you will be trying to use in Power BI is built for some, some data structure which should be in the long format. Or sometimes you will be using functions in Power BI which are designed in a way to use on, on a wide data format. So, so I will show you guys that how you can switch a data structure from wide to long and then back from, I suppose if you are starting with long data format, how you can switch it back to wide format. So in order to do that, I will go to Power BI now. So the first thing is that uh, I have already created a data, which is the wide data one. So first I will import that data into Power BI. So I will go, I will say get data. So as my data is in the CSV file, so I will tell Power BI that the file type is text slash CSV, then I will connect. Then this is the data that I will be using. I will say open. So now I will just load it. As you can see, Power BI is connecting with my data set. And now I will go to browser window, uh, data browser window, where you can see that in this data, uh, this year in the CSV file, when I loaded it into Power BI, the, there is one thing happened that Power BI unable to recognize that the first row is actually the variable names. This thing usually happens when in the first row you have numbers. So in that case, you can easily make your first row uh, as variable name. So in order to do that, you will need to go to edit queries. So first what I will go, I will go to transform so that I will be able to make my first row as variable name. So under the transform, there is an option, use first row as a header. So I will click this down arrow button and I will say use first row as headers and now you can see that uh, power and now our first row is actually uh, represent is the now the first row become the variable names 
And now the point is that I want to convert. This is actually currently the data is in the long format. Sorry, in the wide format. And I want to convert into a long format. So in order to do that, you have to first realize that the which variables actually are changing. So actually, if I go back to my Excel file, when the data will be in the long format, actually name variable, name section and the gender will remain constant for uh, for these id for uh, for uh, so actually there is no changing between there is no change between uh, there is no change in a uh, name of uh, actually for these three rows the name remains constant and the gender remains constant so but the values which are changing is in this year and income so i have to select the first three columns so i will go back i will select the first three columns and then i will say uh, unpivot only selected columns and now you can see that very easily you have converted your data into wide form to long form but after that i will show you guys that how you can so suppose if you started with a data structure which looks like this so how you can create how you can make it from uh from uh, long to wide so in order to do that you will just select the two columns that you want to convert into wide format and then if you look at the here you have pivot column option within the transform you will click it and you will tell that which column have actually the value. So actually, I want to have this uh, variable name which will contain the value. And if I click it, okay. And now you can see again, uh, the things are converted back from where I started. So in this video, I've shown you guys that how you can transform data from wide to long and then uh, back uh, from long to wide. So thank you for